Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Jazz. I'm back with another video. I know I haven't been here for a while, but girl, look, your girl's busy with life. Look, okay, I'm here to make this video because I have a lot to get off of my chest about what's going on with Normani and Wildside and her record label and so much going on. And this isn't, oh, this is stuff that's happening that's happened before. And the ones who've been here before, we know. Like, we've been through this with Motivation. We've been through this with Fifth Harmony. I'm so sick and tired of black female artists, black talented female artists, getting treated like crap. Like, I'm so over this. Like, honestly, I'm just over it. So that's just what this video is going to be about, okay? So we're gonna, I'm going to get straight to the point because I'm just like, I'm over it. Now, I feel like... You know, the response from the fans and people who really weren't fans of Normani, um, I feel like the response has been so great towards Wildside. I feel like Wildside is just that song, it's that vibe, it's just a hit. And then the choreography, like a lot of people have, have been saying, we haven't seen this level of choreography in a video in such a long time. It's exciting, it's fresh, it's new, and it's highly anticipated because it's been two years since Motivation. And we've all been waiting for new music from Normani. And not just fans, but also other celebrities who are rooting for Normani. Because they know that Normani is that bitch. Okay? If you know, bitch, you know. Okay? So, let's get to the point. The first thing is that I've noticed. Well, not that I noticed. That happened was Normani tweeted. So, a fan was like, so what about that performance? And she said that there was supposed to be a performance on the 20th. But... Change of plans, but they already have something in the works. Now, we're excited and hope we're hoping for her to perform at the VMAs. But at the same time, this this is this is the tea. This is this is the mess. So Camilla performed on the day that Normani was supposed to perform. This isn't the first time this has happened, people. That's it's not the first time this has happened. That's why I'm so irritated. I'm like, okay. I don't understand why Cardi B is pushing so hard to pr promote this song more than her own team, more than her own record label. And then when they respond to other fans who are irritated with this label, the responses are so vague and rude and minimal. Like, they don't even give a fuck. And I'm fucking sick and tired of this bullshit i really am so like her team her label like i love normani but her label is trash and there's rumors that she's supposed to be going to another record label i pray and hope that she does because she deserves so much better she's too talented she works too hard and her fans love her so much to see her get treated as such okay now other than the performance that we were supposed to have, okay, because it would have been bomb, okay? Um, so apparently there was an issue going on, I guess, last night into today, this morning. I think it's fixed now. That her song was taken off of big streaming platforms. I know, I use Amazon Music. It was fine on mine, but as far as like iTunes and I think Spotify and stuff like that, like... I feel like the song was, like, taken off of big streaming platforms. I don't know what the deal about that was, but it has affected her drastically as far as numbers on the charts. Like, she dropped numbers on the charts. I know some people are saying it could be worse, but it, that's not the point. The point is it happened. Like, why would you take the song off of streaming platforms? Like, why? Like, I just don't understand. Like, I, and, and the, the thing is, we feel like she's being sabotaged. Somebody is trying to sabotage her. Don't know if it's somebody on the label, on her team, or someone outside who looks at Normani as a threat. I mean, if you're scared, you should be, because Normani is that bitch. And as a fan who watched her from X Factor to Fifth Harmony to going solo through everything that she's dealt with of uh, being in the group and outside of the group 
honestly, I just feel like it's so, it's so sad that this woman and other black female artists have to go through such stress. One, to get support from their own label and to be pushed and promoted. Like, they're, like I just feel like her label should be doing more and they should care more. Because I feel like they don't. And that's just me. Like, I, I, I mean, like, like, do y'all feel me on this? Like, this is some bull. This is really some bull. And this, this hit, okay. I'm really irritated about this because no one's talking about this. There's too many videos of people, of dancers, dancing, doing the dance, the break dance to the second verse on Wildside, on Instagram, and on TikTok. I don't understand why the song is not trending in the top three spots on TikTok. But BTS or someone posts a song in a day and it goes like it trends this quick in a point one second. Like, I just don't understand that. Like, it really irks my soul how, how literally other artists who are not black can just release something in a second. And it goes crazy, like on TikTok, where there's hundreds of videos of people dancing to Wildside, and the song is being pushed, and everybody has been listening to it. And I don't understand why it's not trending higher. Like it should be higher than what it is. Honestly, it's some bull crap. And I feel like it's just someone who's just behind the scenes doing. The song Dirty doing her do dirty. Like, I'm just over, like, this mess in this sense. Now, I don't want to be, like, dramatic because I don't want to, you know, put too much on Armani because she's been through a lot. Like she said, this got her through a lot with her mom because, you know, her mom, she's had cancer before and now she's going through it again. But um, as for her family, she said this, you know, this has helped them become stronger and everything that's been going on. And I just really hope she gets the performance. She's able to give us the performance that she wants to give. And that her fans can root for her with this performance. Because that's what we want. We want her to succeed. We want her to achieve. She is that girl. And for me, she's a black chocolate. She's our black chocolate queen who's going to do it. Because there's been other chocolate queens in the past. In this industry who have not gotten what they deserve. I.E. Kelly Rowland. I'm just saying. That woman is tal talented. She can sing. She's a Grammy winner. Like, But at the same time, as a solo artist, she didn't get the push that she deserves. Like, never mind Beyonce and everything. But as her own, like, she still should have got the push. But she didn't. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Normani stands for so much more than just a girl that went solo from a girl group. You know, or as you say, the black girl. She's so much more than the black girl. She's the girl that stands up for all the other black female girls who've been, who felt like that they can't make it or whatever because of a man or because, you know, because of a skin tone. You know what I mean? Because she works so hard. She stands up for the people that works hard, who has a dream, who's talented, and who just wants to love doing what they love to do. And she's so talented and creative. And I just wish her team cared more. I wish her team gave two craps because they don't. And I don't like her team. They can kiss my booty. Like, honestly. They, don't, they do not deserve her. Her team does not deserve her. She, like, honestly, they don't. Mm -hmm. And the fact, I'm going to keep it real. Real quick. Yeah, like, y'all, I love Doja Cat. Like, I love Doja Cat as an artist, and she's so versatile and everything. But you know, Doja Cat and Armani are both on RCA. And you see the push with Doja Cat more than Armani. And I hate to say it, but I feel like it's a light skin versus dark skin thing. And that's fucked up. It really is. Because both ladies are talented as crap. Like, Tanache left, and I feel like Tanache is one of the most talented artists out. She may not be the strongest singer, but she's still a goddamn good singer. 
And she's talented as hell and she could perform her ass off. Like, they don't think, they really don't care. And I was watching um, Nicki Minaj uh, interview some uh, back when she released uh, Queen, right? And she was saying how nowadays it's not even about talent. They don't care about talent. They care about popularity. And I feel like that's effed up in today's world. And Nikki also said, us as fans, we need, to, we need to hold on into the talented artists that we root for because they may not last much longer because they don't care about those things anymore. It's, it seems like it's things other than talent that the industry, it's not even just RCA's other labels too, that they, you know, they don't really care about talent. They don't care about talent no more. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you put Normani as a dancer besides other people, she's smashing everybody because she's a dancer. She's a gymnast. That's what she does. I've reacted to every episode of Dancing with the Stars because I love this woman. I love Normani so much. Like, she is such, to me, she's an icon because, not because she was in a big girl group, but because she literally works so hard and nobody is at her level. She, she, like, she's clearly are making people uncomfortable. And that's a good thing. And I'm just, she just deserves more. She's just, she deserves better. And I'm sick and I'm tired of her being treated less than she should. To Normani, hopefully at, we get this album in full. Because I don't need no more bullcrap. I don't need another hiatus after if she gets this VMA performance or she will get this VMA performance. I don't need another two-year hiatus. The album supposedly done. She said maybe a, one more song. And she knows what she wants to do. Maybe one more song that she might add on to it. And then it's basically done. I want the album. Not me, but us. We want the album. We want the tour. We want to see her perform. Whether it's virtual. Whether it's whatever. I want to actually go there. I want to be there physically. I'm just saying. But there's a lot going on with this Delta variant and all this crap. So I'm... Hmm. But anyway, we want to see our girl perform, and we want to root for her. And we can't root for her if her label can't even give us 50%. Like, her label needs to put in the, the time, and they actually need to do their daggone job. Like, girl, like, I'm just over it. Like, her, I can't, girl... I wish I could just go up to the record label's building and just have a protest. Or we can protest online. And, like, just really, like, say, give Normani the respect and the promotion and the time that she deserves from the record label. Because, honestly, they not doing her a bit of good. Nor Cardi freaking promoted the crap out of Wildside. More than I've seen any record label promote their own freaking artist that's a, that has a black female, dark-skinned black female. I said what I said. Um, Y'all comment below how you feel. I just had to get that off my chest because I'm over it and I'm tired. I'm tired. I said what I said. Okay. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will see y'all next time.